Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today I'm going to show you how to make faux rusty vintage looking ornaments. So I decided to make these faux rusty vintage looking ornaments for fun. And you can make these out of new ornaments like those clear plastic kind or even glass kind that you purchase, or you can upcycle current ornaments that you have. I did both and I'm going to show you step by step. However, before I do, please remember to subscribe to our channel so you can follow along with everything that's happening here at the farmhouse. Now, let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, you can use old ornaments you have and upcycle them for this craft, or you can buy these new clear ornaments, or even dollar store ornaments would work. I chose to buy the clear ones and upgrade some that I've had for over a decade that could use a little glam up. To begin the craft, I picked out four paint colors, blue, white, red, and green. I removed the tops and set those aside, and then I layered the base coat for each color on the ornaments and let them dry. I found using a foam brush worked best. This coat doesn't have to be thick, just something to create a base. I did this with each color I used, and I found that when upcycling some of my ornaments with sparkles on them, it already created a great texture. For the second coat, my goal was to create texture to give the ornaments interest. I mixed baking soda with the paint color and then brushed it on. I found the sponge brushes again really helpful here because I could dab them and really create as much texture as I wanted. The next step was to use a sponge and dab on a lighter paint in the same color family. So blue got a light blue, red got a pink color, white concrete got a bright white, and so on. The exact colors I used are in the description below and listed with photos on the website that I've linked below. I let the light layer of paint dry for about 30 seconds and then rolled the ornament in cocoa powder. This helps to create the old, semi-rough appearance.
I let the cocoa powder sit on the ornaments for maybe a few minutes and then I dusted them off. Dusting them off will create a beautiful layered effect that builds depth and color interest. It also created completely unique effects on each ornament color, so no two were exactly alike. As a final step, I also layered on gold and bronze paint with a sponge. I like a little sparkle at holiday time and this helped to make that happen. Again, layering them on really added to the idea of age. I loved using these particular sponges for this so the pattern was really random and unique. It worked much better than using the sponge brush. The only ornaments that were a little different were the white ones. I skipped rolling them in the cocoa powder because I love the creamy look. Instead, I just layered on the metallic paint. As a final step, I spray painted the tops of the ornaments with a vintage gold spray paint. This took a couple of coats. So what do you think? Do you have a favorite color? I have to say, I think I like the blue ones the best, but I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below.
Thank you guys so much for following along today. I hope that you love these faux, rusty, vintage looking ornaments that I DIY'd. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I will have a full blog post up at sugarmaplefarmhouse.com and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And again, before you go, if you could subscribe to our channel, that would be wonderful. That way you can follow along with everything we're doing here at the farmhouse. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.